In this video, I'm going to show you how we can integrate x to the power of 4 using biparts. Okay, so usually you wouldn't want to use biparts, right? But I think it's quite interesting that we can actually use biparts for something like that. Okay, so how do we do biparts here, right? So we want to see a product of two functions, right? So normally when we see a product of uh, two different functions and uh, the integral of the product of two different functions, we would use biparts. Okay, so before that, let's... Let's write down the, the formula okay, for by parts for easy reference. Okay, so integrate u dv equals to uv minus integrate v du. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's think of how we can split this into a product of two functions, right? So x to the power of 4. So uh, maybe I will try x to the power of 1 and x to the power of 3, okay? And then we can see where this goes. Okay, so as usual, we're going to let one of them be dv. So we can let the x to the power of 1 be dv, right? So well, I guess it doesn't really matter if you, if you want to use uh, dv. Uh, you, you're going to use x cubed for dv, right? It should be the same. Okay, so let's say this is dv and this is u, okay? So applying the formula, we should get uv. So u is this and v would be the integral of x, which is x squared over 2. Right, minus integrate v du, right, which is x squared over 2 again, and du is 3x squared. Okay, so this would be x to the power of 5 over 2, minus 3 over 2, integrate x to the power of 4. Okay, so that is equal to, okay, integrate x to the power of 4 is x to the power of 5 over 5 plus c. Okay, so let's simplify that a little bit. This is x to the power of 5 over 2 minus 3x to the power of 5 over 10 plus c. Okay, so I'm going to combine it. So this will be 5 minus 3, right? 5x5 minus 3x5 divided by 10 plus c. We should get 2x5 over 10, which simplifies to x to the power of 5 over 5 plus c, right? Which is going to be the same result as how, you know, how you would have gotten it yeah, using the normal method. Okay, so let's try another combination. Okay, so let's say, uh, okay, I'm also going to move on to the next page. Okay, so the other combination, so we can consider maybe x square times x square, right? Okay, so this, this two are basically the same, so it really doesn't matter which one you want it to be dv. Okay, so I'm just going to let this one be dv and this one will be u. Okay, so uh, this is equals to u times v. u times v will be x squared times x cubed over 3 minus integrate v du. Right, so v would be x cubed over 3. Okay, let me, let me write this properly. It's a bit ugly. Okay, so x cubed over 3 uh, du would be 2x. So simplify it. This is x to the power of 5 over 3 minus 2 third integrate x to the power of 4 dx. Okay, and then you should get x to the power of 5 over 5 plus c. Okay, so let's simplify this also, right? So this will be, uh, well, if I multiply by 5, I should get 5x5 over 15 minus 2x5 over 15 plus c, right? So simplifying that, yes, we will get x to the power of 5 over 5 plus c. Okay, so that is pretty interesting, right? At least to me. Okay, let's try one more combination. Okay, and let's see if it still works. Okay, well, let's try x to the power of 1.5 times x to the power of 2.5, right? So again, they... You know, they are they are both, you know, I, I would say they are equally easy to integrate. So let's let's use this as dv. Okay. But at the end of the day, it shouldn't matter. Okay, so uv, right? So uv would be x to the power of 2.5, and v would be x to the power of 2.5 over 2.5, right? So that would be the integral of x to the power of 1.5 and then minus integrate v du. So V would be this, and DU would just be 2.5x to the power of 1.5.
Okay, so this is x to the power 5 divided by 2.5 minus integrate x to the power of 4 dx. Okay, so 2.5 is 5 over 2. So this is 2x5 over 5 minus integrate of x to the power of 4 is just x to the power of 5 over 5. Okay, and then yes, we're going to get x to the power of 5 over 5 again, right? So there you see. So this is how we can use integration by parts, you know, even in a question as simple as that. Okay, so I hope you find this video interesting, right? As usual, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.